And it is about a Kardashian lookalike model that died from silicone butt injections. I just couldn't believe it. This story gets really, really crazy. And she does kind of look like Kim. A little bit, yeah. And it's really sad. And I, you know, as I always say, we don't talk about these things to make light of them. It's, you know, to kind of educate people on how you or family member or friend could potentially avoid a situation like this. So this happened last month uh, at the end of April. Uh, this uh, girl's name is Christina Gorkani. Uh, she's 34 years old. She was a social media and OnlyFans model. And she was obsessed with plastic surgery. And I have a quote that she put up there. Charles, throw that quote up. Yeah, it says, some of us fill our bodies with drugs, some of us with alcohol, some with unhealthy foods, some with stress, others with toxic, abusive relationships. I fill my body with some plastic and a lot of love. And uh, yeah, that was in response to people you know, saying that she had this obsession with plastic surgery, yeah. uh, which, which we'll talk about. But she, her obsession with plastic surgery was to look like Kim Kardashian. That was like her whole goal. And I got another picture of her. Yeah, that's her right there. I mean, she does kind of look like Kim Kardashian. Um, I'm a little... She definitely does, but it looks like her body is photoshopped. Like that's how much plastic surgery she's had is her body looks photoshopped. So I've, like yes, badly right. Badly photoshopped. And, I, and I, <laughs> I think that that is her real body because I saw several photos. I just yeah, grabbed one. Yeah, I don't doubt it. Yeah. And so she did have this obsession with plastic surgery and it kind of got her into trouble because she actually found this girl on the internet. Uh, this girl's name is Vivian Gomez. I think I got a picture of her. Try to throw her up there if you can. Yeah, so that's Vivian Gomez. She is a unlicensed cosmetologist from Florida. I knew it. it I, Florida is always making... How did I know Florida it? is always making an appearance in our segments. I, I, I don't know if we should... Well, I know we had a counter at one I point. I think we should just go there and do interviews with random people on the street. Like random street interviews? Yeah, like... Uh, that obviously have had plastic surgery. We're gonna have to up our budget a little <laughs> who's your, bit. Who's your plastic surgeon? Who's your plastic surgeon? Did you go to a plastic because surgery? Because you email? look horrible. Oh. <laughs> anyway, so uh, Gorkani found this girl Vivian Gomez on the internet, which um, is a little a little sketchy. And Vivian Gomez agreed to fly out to California, where uh, Christina lived, and they were gonna do silicone butt injections. So this went down. Uh, At mean, least it wasn't cocking or cock or whatever I, it was I, last time. Well, that's what that is. I think it's silicone. Like from Home Depot. It didn't specifically say, but you can't just buy, you know, like silicone you'd put in a breast implant at like anywhere. I have no idea. So I assume that that's what that, that's what they mostly use is they buy, you know, silicone from a, uh, some sort of hardware store and they use that to inject it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's not a great idea. So she flew from Florida to California. They met up at a hotel where this all went down. And so uh, the Ms. Gomez started injecting uh, Ms. Gorkani's buttocks with the silicone. And very shortly after they started, uh, Ms. Gorkani had a seizure and went into cardiac arrest. And so they took her to the hospital and later that night she, she died. And so the first question is, okay, well, what happened? Well, I mean, there's, there hasn't been like an autopsy released or anything, but most likely what happened is she got a, an embolus of silicone, meaning that when they were doing the injections, they, the needle got into a big blood vessel and they injected that silicone into the bloodstream, which is really, really bad. That basically will block up your brain or your heart. I mean, it can kill you very, very, very quickly. And it's one of the reasons that Brazilian butt lifts carry such a high mortality rate. And of course, they're not injecting with silicone, they're injecting with fat. But the same, the same end result can apply if you get into the bloodstream. It can be, you know, very, very lethal. Yeah. So uh, Ms. Gorkani was taken to the hospital. She did, unfortunately, pass away. Ms. Gomez got on a plane and went back to Florida um, after this all went down. Um, they said she wasn't fleeing police, but she just didn't necessarily have anything else to be there for. And she was arrested at the airport once she um, got back to Florida. And uh, she was... Uh, I was about to say, did she perform any more surgeries? <laughs> I don't know. I, that's a great question. I'm not... I would assume she just came out there for that. Yeah, um, I know. Yeah. But I, it was like a good thing she got like arrested at so, the airport. <laughs> so this, this person's a cosmetologist, apparently unlicensed, obviously not a physician. 
And so she's being charged with involuntary manslaughter mm -hmm. and practicing medicine without a license, which are both felonies. And she's facing a set up to 12 years in prison uh, for her, her role in this girl's death, which obviously... I feel like it should be longer. I kind of felt like that too. I mean, she, she killed somebody. Yeah, she did kill somebody. And like, maybe not like maliciously, but right. like... It's not like pure murder. But it's almost she, knew like, the, she knew the risks and she yeah. still did it. It's like negligent homicide. I don't know the details of... I mean, don't people that get, get drunk and dry, like drinking and driving and kill somebody go to prison longer than that? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the... I would assume so. I don't know. Yeah, 12 years to me sounds like not a lot of time for straight up killing someone. But I don't know. I agree. Know. Uh, so anyway, I mean, this obviously is a tragic story. And um, like I said, we don't want to you know, make light of the fact that someone died here. But, you know, is there anything to be learned from this? And I mean, there's a lot. To be learned. Um, so I was thinking that there's three things here that that were concerning to me. Um, well, there's a lot that are concerning, but the three biggest ones. I mean, one, uh, I have a little bit of issue when people get obsessed with plastic surgery to the point that they're trying to look like a celebrity. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's free country. People are free to do what they want, but it, it does open up risks when you have so much plastic surgery and you know you're doing everything you can to try and look like someone and i think it opens you up to get into bad situations like this yeah. because for example you know i feel like i'm a very safe surgeon i mean my record would say i'm a very safe surgeon um if somebody came to me and said well i want to look like kim kardashian i want to have 10 surgeries i would i would not operate on them i mean i just wouldn't do it i the yeah me, it's, because it's like they'll never look exactly like yeah them. there's that i mean it does indicate there might be some like more deeper issues going on stuff yeah. yeah and so i i just feel like that that's just kind of a warning sign so the problem i think is when people go down that road they're more likely to get in with somebody shady like this gomez person who is you know practicing medicine without a license so i think that that's one take home from this is you know if, if you know somebody that's out there trying to look like a celebrity I, mean, I don't say you need to have an intervention with them, but I mean, it, 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 you should have some concern. You know, I don't know. You might need to have an intervention with well, them. Well, it's just, I know, it's a strong word to say that an intervention. Because, like, she she obviously probably started off going to, like, some good doctors right. to have these procedures. Yeah, I know, and just, then I, she's just she's like, going now down I'm dark getting road. Yeah. Home Depot stuff right. injected. So, and, and that's the second thing. I mean, I, I don't know how big of a public service announcement we need to have to say that injecting silicone into your body is a bad idea but i mean it's a terrible idea it's i mean people die from this or have horrible complications like i think cardi b was one yeah. remember we did the little segment about her like it like i guess apparently it can be done but like what, what risk yeah. right i mean and, and there's there's no medical application for that like yeah. there's no fda approval for injecting silicone directly into your body like this i mean we do use silicone implants but that's a completely different you're not like putting yes it's not like free silicone you're just injecting in there it's like yeah. a very surgical well thought out plan that yeah. has a track record of being very safe this is not that i mean mm -hmm. this is the opposite of that it has a track record of, of being dangerous for sure uh and then uh lastly i mean using anyone that's unlicensed is probably a bad idea i mean it, it goes back to you know do your do your homework yes. you know if you're going to have a procedure by someone look up their credentials. I mean, having a social media account is not credentials. No. You know, there has to be more than that. So, you know, and I know there's people out there that do something like this with somebody unlicensed and they have okay results. But I mean, if you're gonna do something that potentially can, you know, cause harm to you or even, you know, potentially kill you, make it as safe as it possibly can. Make sure the people are properly trained, properly licensed. Exactly. So, you know, I think that in this scenario, you have three different things that all went wrong and like when you add all that risk up i mean it, it can cost you your life and plus it's florida so. yeah well florida. medical tours <laughs> well this is kind of like reverse medical tourism she came to her she came to her yeah the girl the the, the kardashian lookalike was from san mateo i think mm -hmm. uh, which is so oh, in the florida cosmetologist the florida cosmetologist flew out Oh. Yeah, it's like reverse medical tourism. It'd be like if I flew to Florida to do someone's surgery. You have to be wary of that too. 
Because, I mean, I mean, I was just thinking about, could you ever do that? Well, I mean, technically you can, but you have to have a medical license for the state you're practicing in. So the fact that this girl flew to another state to do something, I mean, that's worrisome. That's strange. There's a lot of worrisome about that. Don't it. travel to get any type of surgery. It's not Either a good way. idea. It's, it's not a good idea. All right. Red flags. I'm sad for her. That's a very sad story. Hopefully it's horrible. people can, um, you know, take something home from this to prevent it from happening to themselves or someone they love. So. All right, moving on to more dangerous stuff. I don't know. Sometimes these, these segments just are all about danger. Well, I mean, it is educational. We want people to be safe. So we, we, learn, we learn from it. Right. You learn from mistakes.